All right, for your reading lesson today, we're going to revisit The Kissing Hand by Audrey Penn. Now, I'm not reading this from your McGraw-Hill today. I'm actually accessing it through the Epic Books for Kids website that I shared with you yesterday, and then um, um, I'm going to include it on today's assignments um, as well. And it's the Get Epic, and there are instructions on how to create an account for your child so that they have access to thousands of titles digital, digitally, like this one. Um, this says to Stephanie Rebecca Corin and children everywhere who love to be loved. Now, this page is not part of the story. It's called the dedication page. The author, Audrey Penn, dedicated the book to Stephanie Rebecca Corin and children everywhere who loved who loved to be loved. Chester Raccoon stood at the edge of the forest and cried. I don't want to go to school, he told his mother. I want to stay home with you. I want to play with my friends and play with my toys and read my books and swing on my swing. Please, may I stay home with you? Mrs. Raccoon took Chester by the hand and nuzzled him on the ear. Sometimes we all have to do things we don't want to do, she told him gently, even if they seem strange and scary at first. But you will love school once you start. You'll make new friends and play with new toys, read new books, and swing on new swings. Besides, she added, I know a wonderful secret that will make your nights at school seem as warm and cozy as your days at home. Chester wiped away his tears and looked interested. A secret? What kind of secret? A very old secret, said Mrs. Raccoon. I learned it from my mother and she learned it from hers. It's called the kissing hand. The kissing hand, asked Chester, what's that? I'll show you. Mrs. Raccoon took Chester's left hand and spread open his tiny fingers into a fan. Leaning forward, she kissed Chester right in the middle of his palm. Chester felt his mother's kiss rush from his hand, up his arm, and into his heart. Even his silky black mask tingled with a special warmth. Mrs. Raccoon smiled. Now, she told Chester, whenever you feel lonely and need a little loving from home, you just press your hand to your cheek and think, Mommy loves you. Mommy loves you. And that very kiss will jump to your face and fill you with toasty, warm thoughts. She took Chester's hand and carefully wrapped his fingers around the kiss. Now do be careful not to lose it, she teased him. But don't worry. When you open your hand and wash your food, I promise the kiss will stick. Chester loved his kissing hand. Now he knew his mother's love would go with him wherever he went, even to school. That night, Chester stood in front of his school and looked thoughtful. Suddenly, he turned to his mother and grinned. Give me your hand, he told her. Chester took his mother's hand in his own and unfolded her large, familiar fingers into a fan. Next, he leaned forward and kissed the center of her hand. Now you have a kissing hand too, he told her. And with a gentle goodbye and an I love you, Chester turned and danced away. Mrs. Raccoon watched Chester scamper across a tree limb and enter school. And as the hoot owl rang in the new school year, she pressed her left hand to her cheek and smiled. The warmth of Chester's kiss filled her heart with special words. Chester loves you, it sang. Chester loves you. And there are all the animals at their school. Like I said, this book and thousands of others are on that Get Epic website, which would be an awesome resource. It's like having a library right on your computer. The next thing I want to talk to you about is a story map. And a story map tells about the story that we just read and explains some of the parts of the story. 
Now, part of the story are the characters. And a character in a story can be a person or an animal or an object that plays an important role in the plot. Now, who are the characters in our story of the kissing hand? Mm -hmm. Chester is definitely a character. And his mom is a character, right? They both play a very important part of the story. Now, the setting is where the story happens, where the story takes place. So where does our story about the kissing hand happen? Oh, it happens in the forest right outside of the school. So we're going to say in the forest because that's where the raccoons live. So our characters are Chester and his mom. The setting is in the forest. Now, another important part of a story is the problem. And the problem is what goes wrong in the story and needs to be fixed. When you're talking about the problem in the kissing hand, what problem did Chester have? Yeah, he, he didn't want to go to school. He was nervous about going to school. So we're going to put he didn't want to go to school, right? He wanted to stay at his house and play with his toys and read his books and swing on his swing. He didn't want to go to school. But of course, there was a solution to the problem. And the solution is what, what happens to fix the problem, how the problem gets solved or resolved. In this story, how did the problem get fixed? Chester's mom really helped him with the solution, right? What secret did she tell him to help him with the problem of not wanting to go to school? Yes, she shared the secret of the kissing hand, right? So, mom shared the secret of the kissing hand. Absolutely, that's what solved the problem. Once Chester knew about the kissing hand, he didn't worry about going to school anymore. He wasn't nervous at all because he knew that his mom's love was going to go with him wherever he went. You guys did a great job filling in that story map, picking out the important parts of the story. And we'll do lots of story maps this year so that we can take a closer look to, at things like characters, the people, the animals, or the objects in the story that play an important role, the setting, the where the story happens, the problem, and the solution.